Hey everyone, good afternoon. It is Tuesday, February 18th. Um, and as you can see in front of me, we got some things in the mail today. Um, so they they both got here really quick. I uh, I started looking into new stocks and things like that. And I, uh, I went to order this Magpul Hunter off of uh, Amazon, just because I saw that they had some of the best prices. And when I went to pay for it, I was fine with the price and everything like that. I realized, or I, I guess I forgot that I had a crap ton of Capital One Visa points that I just I'd never use. And so, I uh, the stock was two hundred and four bucks, and I didn't pay a dollar for it because um, I think I had something like ninety five thousand Capital One points. And so, uh, stock was completely free. Um, but as you can see, it is the Magpul Hunter. Um, I went with this because it gave me enough customization, but not a full blown chassis gun, which I I didn't really want. Um, and plus, I you know I had a price point in mind for this, especially for this point in the project, and I didn't want to go with the um, Magpul Pro because that's like a thousand dollars, I think. Um, and it's just not what I wanted to put into this project. You know, I've got other things going on in my life right now that I just, I'd rather put that sort of money into. Um, so as you know, one of the primary reasons that I went with this stock is obviously, um, the uh, fact that I can drop in the Magpul bottom metal and run the Magpul style, uh, or Magpul AICS magazines. So this is a five round P mag, uh, the seven six two mag that will that'll feed the six five creed moors, um, and so that was like sixty bucks, um, and then nothing there. So in a new stock bottom metal and a magazine, I think I have sixty five bucks invested, um, and so uh, rather than me filming putting this thing all together because that's you know pretty explanatory. Um, I will, uh, just kind of go over a couple of the things, uh, that you need, uh, which is basically just a, a driver and a couple of hex bits. The two main action screws are a number four hex bit and a three thirty second. Uh, the two, if you go over here to the gun, there's two primaries, one right there. And one right there. Those are the bigger. And then on only when you're taking off the original do you have to use the small Allen key to unscrew the trigger guard. Uh, so this stock um, will fix my issue of the barrel not free floating. It still has kind of this nicer, wider target style forend like the Factory 700 stock does. Um, and then obviously the biggest thing is it'll convert it to, um, except bottom metal. So, or be magazine fed, which is, uh, a big thing I wanted to do. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Um, and then I will go ahead and put it back together, but just a couple of observations in true Magpul fashion. I, I think they have the shipping or packaging of their products down to a T. This is like the third Magpul full stock that I've bought. And every time it comes really nicely you know cut, put in this foam so the stock's supported all the way down it's very just clean the box is nice um instruction manual magpul sticker and then this box down here is actually additional length of pool so you can see these right oh, sorry shadow you can see these right here these spacers just by backing out these screws here you can expand it and put in i think they gave me four more in this box and so I can really put a lot of length of pull on this thing. Uh, I don't know if I'll need it, but it's nice to have the option. And it's nice that I don't then have to go online and, you know, make sure I order the right color and everything like that. Um, and then same thing over here. Uh, very, you know, nicely, nicely labeled box, instructions, sticker, um, and then your parts. Just very clean, very simple, no necess unnecessary stuff. Uh, and then also a correction. Um, in my original video, I mentioned obviously that the barrel is threaded on this one. And I think I said that it was half by 28. Um, 
That is not correct. I, I don't know why I was thinking that. It's actually 5 eighths by 24. Um, I looked it up. I confirmed it at Remington. And so uh, just FYI. So if you do watch my videos all the way through and do pay actual attention to what I say, ignore the half by 28 because it's not true. So anyway, um, I will pick back up once this is fully assembled and kind of show you how it looks. Okay, so we're back. I wish I... I wish I could find my tripod at the moment uh, because I would have just filmed it. It literally took me 30 seconds to install this thing. I knew it was going to be simple, but I just, I don't know. I guess any time you're test fitting things for the first time and I'm just kind of have seasoned my or prepared myself for it to not go as planned, but it did. So uh, here you can see um, that's that's it. It's that simple. It is Take out three bolts, put in two, um, and you have a nice rifle in this Magpul stock um, that is now magazine fed. I apologize for you guys seeing my feet. Let me turn it like that. There we go. Um, so just a couple of a couple of things. Um, you know, typically when you take things apart and put them back together, you're not supposed to have leftover parts. In this case, you are. So right here are the things that you are no longer going to need when you convert this exact rifle, right? Which is a blind mag, you know, there's no, is a blind magazine bottom. There's no floor plate. There's no nothing. So you have your magazine box, right? And the screw that holds it into the bottom of the receiver. You have your follower and spring. You have your factory um, trigger guard and the third screw with that little hex bit on it you don't need that anymore and then when you actually buy your remington stock it comes with excuse me it comes with this spacer installed in the magazine well rather than this so if you're conf if you're converting a flint like a uh, hinged floor plate excuse me model you leave this in and then install your floor plate over it that way your spring and follower and all that kind of stuff work as it's supposed to but since we are doing the detachable bottom mag, um, we don't need this anymore. So we'll put that back in the box and save it for another day. Um, so I first time mentioned that you needed, you know, two, two bits, a big one and a small one for your uh, takedown screws. Then I also forgot you need a small Phillips head screwdriver to remove this tiny little screw. Here you can kind of see. Just how small that is. That's what holds in your internal box mag that you don't need anymore. Um, and then the biggest thing, and uh, I know action screws can uh, work with accuracy quite a bit. You, you are going to need a torque wrench to, to I guess, do this the right way. Uh, looking at the instructions over here, it says right there where I underlined torque to 55 to 60 inch pounds. So it was nice of Magpul to tell you um, what you're supposed to torque this through. So again, I'll do that off camera. It's not really that important. But, um, you know, one thing I learned a long time ago is don't just set your torque wrench to 55, crank it and walk away. Put it at 40 and then do both screws and then go up in five pound increments to what your desired rating is. It gives you a much more... Um, I don't know. I guess it kind of gives the screws a chance to like torque a little bit at a time versus just one giant torque. Um, and uh, I've, I've always had good, good success that way. I do the same thing with my uh, scope rings and bases and things like that. I start at like 20 and then go up from there every five. So this is uh, where we are now. Um, so we will uh, uh, eventually need to go out and shoot this thing again and function test it and um, now that the barrel is truly free floated, you can see there's this pretty generous uh, gap right there. We'll probably have to do a little re-zeroing, right? I suspect that this stock up here was definitely rubbing. Um, but, you know, that's that's just kind of the name of the game when you're working with uh, baseline tests and planning on upgrading from there. So, But all in all, it looks really nice. You know, you've got several uh, M-Lock rails top bottom sides uh for all your gadgets and stuff like that the only thing i'll probably do is just put a um uh bipod stud or a harris mount up front uh just so that way i don't have any more 
gun falling off the sandbag groups like that uh, Winchester deer hunter that I screwed up the other day. Um, but yeah, other than that, that is it. You know, it's got, there's, there's a lot of information about these stocks out there. So I doubt I'm telling you anything you guys, you don't know. But one thing that I didn't see a lot of people with this stock ahead of me do is mention torquing the screws. So if it wasn't important, Magpul wouldn't have put it in there. So I recommend if you get this stock, follow the, follow the few instructions there are, uh, cause they're there for a reason. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. If you have recommendations on next upgrades, let me know. Uh, I do have more on the way, but we will keep that for another day. I uh, hope everyone had a good President's Day weekend and day off if you had it. And uh, stay tuned. All right, thanks.